Papa Roach is not from Sacramento. Papa Roach is from Vacaville. It's by Sacramento. Right here, that God! Now here we are coming home. We're about to reunite with Moby Dick. Moby Dick is the band that we used to roll, tour, go crazy in. Dude, there it is. Moby Dick! We're going to take one last ride in Moby for a quick tour around Vacaville, P. Roach style. The door There's a reason why every kid in this town calls it lack of thrill, California. We're about to show you why. I to see why. Hey, garage sale! Garage sale! Back of it, right here. Yeah. We were a band who started off as, you know, four kids in high school playing, you know, in the garage and just who wanted to rock out. Now we're going to Vacaville High School where Toby, me, and Dave went to school. Not me. Jerry didn't go. I didn't go. Not Jerry. I'm what? the odd man out. What was Jerry like? Jerry was Jerry was a nerd. I was the geek. I was the metal geek. He doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. Doesn't drink, doesn't smoke. You know what I'm saying? He's like really friendly guy, you know, really just like down to earth, like kind of just really real mellow. Yeah. Dave is the freak. <laughs> <laughs> he's a weirdo, dude. Yeah. He, and he's like he's really moody, you know what I'm saying? Ah. <laughs> but that's D boy, you know what I'm saying? He's a deep thinker too. Yeah. yeah. He really analyzes things. And we're not like your small town, you know, country bumpkin kids. You know, it's like we're pretty sharp. Tobin's a mastermind. Tobin is the most creative musically. He doesn't know when the bus is moving. Yeah, he doesn't know when the bus is moving, but he can play Beethoven on the piano. I'm like totally flamboyant, off the hook. <laughs> this is a lot of things that are inappropriate sometimes, but... The wall. But that's him. That's him. You know, it's yes. like either you love him or you don't. Rock and roll has made me evil. We love him. <laughs> We're brothers. It's like more of like a marriage. You're about to see how geeky we really are. We're going to back of high. I'm trying to get there. I'm going to race the school bus. Do it. Yay, school. A place that I really don't miss. School. You got kicked out of your class and you, you went to this room. Room six, where all the troublemakers hang out. Uh, yeah. You kept your promise. So? Hey, he always said that he was going to be famous, so I said, okay, when you are, I said, you promised you'll sign me. I spent a lot of time yes. in here. <laughs> you guys mind signing me? What's up, yo? Okay. It's cool. You guys can talk, dude. I make the rules now. What's up, man? What's up, yo? I know we got to go by the old art room, man. MJ, how you doing? Because I want you to continue on with She gave me these uh, sketchbooks and pens. She was like, an influence on me. I talked him into going to the Art Institute of Seattle. Then I went up there and I was like, wait a minute, I don't know what happened. And then I, somehow <laughs> I ended up rocking out. So listen to your teachers, but then follow your heart. We're going to go to Mr. Luther's class. That's where um, I play clarinet. Yeah, most of the class will... Mr. Luther was like the one teacher that I actually like. Don't stop on our account. Oh, Mr. Luther, good to see you. Hi, guys. One more grain out. Are they stressing you out? Yeah. Yeah, it's a rock and roll music. It's oh, man. Oh. Don't make me play that. Yeah! Don't make me play that. Play solo. Dude, this is my first time playing clarinet in like five years. No pressure, Cole. Damn, dude, I remember it. Oh, man. All right. Hey, where are we? Where are we? I know like half y'all are probably gonna like put down instruments and never play again after high school, but those of you who continue to play, keep playing, don't stop. And I think I quit for like a semester or like for a minute and then Luther was like, you gotta come back, you gotta come back. And I'm like, okay, dude, I'm a band geek at heart. So, I don't know, I get all sentimental, Mr. Luther. Yeah, I love Mr. Luther, that's my man, man. 
One, two. We played our first little joint right there. Yeah. Well, our very first show was at the local high school talent show. We sucked really bad. I used to suck at singing really bad. And back in the day, that's why I used to scream all the time. The bell's gonna ring. You want to Andrews Park? Skate kid. Skate kid, check it out, check See, it out. See, dude, that's what we used to do back in the day, yep. too. Yep. Just pop and lock on this stuff. What's up, kid? What's up? He's all <laughs> you. Yeah! 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 That's right! <laughs> We raised money to build that park. We can honestly say that's we something we did money. for our community. Well, like, one of the first shows we ever played was on this, this stage right here, so it's like... This is back in the early days here. From the beginning, we've always evolved. They are screaming that the villain is in my house. That the villain is my house. Our friends have a lot to do with who we are. The love that you got from your family and your friends, that's what keeps you going. They shaped us, you know, we shaped them, you know, and that's why we're so bonded. If you believe that your material items and your possessions make you who you are, you're searching the wrong thing. It's about what's in here, you know what I'm saying? It's about what's in your heart. Oh, he was back in those right here. These, these are my people, these are my folks. Next on the road home. This is where the song Last Resort came from. Out of the local clubs, the boys infest the music scene. Remember these days, Lou? And later, they bring it home to the locals. Jack the van, fool. This is my last resort. This house right here, I lived here. This is where uh, the song Last Resort came from. This is my last resort. Papa Roach recorded our very first demos in the, yep. in the attic of this house. Kobe lived next door here. He'd come over in his pajamas to use the phone. Dave, he's just one of our buddies. Loves my fried chicken. We're going to Kobe's old house. This is an old house where, like, pretty much, like, P. Roach, like, really took form. The majority of the Infest record was written here. Over there, that corner window. The room is literally, like, 10 feet by 10 feet. We used to fit all our equipment in there. We couldn't really rock out, so it was like, once we got on stage, we just exploded. This is coming up on downtown Vacaville. It's got a small town feel to it. It's a very small town. It's, it's a like, small town, dude. Come it's on. getting bigger, though. This is, used to be Look, the old see, it's cafe the old corner. This is where I met Jerry Horton. I think it was like right about here where we met. I was like, what's up, dude? Why didn't you call me, man? Nice to meet you. I was probably drunk. And he said, come over and jam. And I'm like, I don't think it's going to work out, you know? We're, we come from two different schools. He plugged in, and it was loud and noisy, and we liked it. We just knew it would work. We toured around all over California as much as we could, you know, while trying to hold hold together day jobs and go to school. For the very first part of our career, like, it was more career. <laughs> Not really. For the, you know, for the beginnings of the band, it was more just, like, about just playing anywhere and everywhere we could. And it's time to go to Cheers. Let's go to the bar. And this is Cheers. They're probably going to ask me for my ID, and I don't have it. Even before we had a manager, Dave was our manager. Yeah, this is where we used to play on this little last stage right here. So he was calling up the clubs. Yeah, Jacob used to play on the floor. Yeah, pretty much he would perform here and run around and tell everybody. Because there's not enough room. And we'd have to sit back here until it was time for us to play because all of us were underage and we couldn't get in the door. I used to stand out in front of the club and be like, what the f Papa Roach, five bucks? What the f Papa Roach, five bucks, you know what I'm saying? And I have my megaphone and I have my boom box, you know, and I'd be out there selling CDs, you know what I'm saying, right after the show got done. Remember these days, Lou? 
The, the, the weird thing is they're not that not, not they're not far ago. away. No. Yeah, they weren't like, that long ago. That's yeah, this strange. is like this is like two years ago. That's what's strange here. and that's what's scary. One thing we've learned, you know what I'm saying, just be be strong and get out there and bust your abs, you know what I'm saying? Because busting your abs pays off, you know. We always imagined like we would get signed, right? That was like our big dream. When we got signed actually to DreamWorks, like Ron Handler, our AR guy, came down to see us at a show. You know, he's like, I want to hear this demo. So like we, you know, floated him a copy and like literally like the next day he was like, let's do this. You know, we really didn't expect like all this to happen, like, you know, three million records later or whatever. You know, it's like yeah, we're like, what happened? To be thrown into this big old whirlwind of rock and roll. Hey, you're a rock star now, deal with it. It's like. Whoa. Where am I? Is this real, you know? Is this real? Holy sh! It is Athena! What's Look up? at you. What are you guys doing, dude? You guys are rock stars? I know, it's crazy now. Yeah. How you doing, girl? What's up? Yeah, are you still with? Is she still with John? Yeah, I'm married to him, dude. Damn, dude. Congrats. Yeah, yeah. you can't walk down the street without running into somebody you know. Like we just ran into like ten people here. we know. This yeah. is right here downtown. Well, how many? Pens? Right here in Vacaville. Right here in Vacaville. Cool. Let's go to the barber shop. We gotta go. All right. Tell John I said hi. All right. Cool. Broken. This is the barber. I'm Papa Joe. <laughs> Not much going on here. That's why we joined a rock and roll band so we could go see the world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There were little kids playing a garage band, and my daughter used to bring their their uh, music to me. In Vacaville, it's like a family. Shannon was the one that got me into punk rock. Shannon got my daughter got into punk rock. Oh, I was blaming you guys. <laughs> We would like to give you this certificate of appreciation for the positive promotion of your hometown, Vacaville. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Dude, that's cool. Thank you very much. Awesome. Man. Vacaville right would be proud of P. Roach, man. We're appreciated! Sorry. My life is a circus, and I will walk down the tight rope. <laughs> God! Guys! You better grow up! Can I say, oh, there's only hey! one. Yeah! What? <laughs> One of my best friends from school is now a cop. But dude, he's a good cop. Hey, we don't allow any tattooed people in here, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a I don't care who you are. It's my boy Jason. He's one of my best friends, like forever. He did these tattoos right here. I got a good tattoo right here, and I got evil tattooed here, and I got my good bird right here, and I got my evil bird tattooed right here. And it's just like, you gotta have them both in your life, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have that chaotic, messed up side of your life to appreciate the good side of your life. We get some stars tattooed. It's kinda like a bro tattoo, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm about to experience some pain right now, and you're gonna witness it. My life is a circus, and I am tripping down that tight bro. Rockstar blood. I got a tattoo of fire right here because I got, you know what I'm saying? I, when I when I sing, that's my fire, you know what I'm saying? That's my energy, and this is where, you know, this is where it all centers around. This is Jacoby. What's He's up, dude? He's your biggest fan. Hey, Pop, oh. How are you? Dude, I'm yeah. 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 yeah! Hey, look at this, the guy that owns the pawn shop. It's Ken! Yeah. Ken! Yeah. 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 <laughs> Can come to the pawn shop? Yeah. Sure. Cool, let's come in. All right. We used to come here, though. Yeah, I can. I think I, hey, what do we got is here? Is that your old base? <laughs> is it? I bought my first base at the pawn shop, and it got stolen like a week later, so, and that's when I decided to be a singer, because I couldn't afford another base. We worked our asses off for a lot of years, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, we really, truly, fully appreciate, you know, being accepted for what we do. Damn, that's the first time he ever gave me anything. <laughs> Sweet. They're not crazy. They're just a younger generation. <laughs> it's special though, you know what I'm saying? Because we're like truly home. We're going to the uh, Vacaville Community Center. That is where P. Roach was born. Spot. We can't have a good show without a good crowd. But that doesn't mean we can get you all free into the show. Getting ready to go on. Getting ready to go 
what I'm saying? Bring the ruckus. Here. Once the adrenaline kicks in, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be off the hook. Our whole entire lives revolve around what's about to happen in the next like, four or five minutes. No. It's about us four and it's about the music and it's about our brotherhood. The time comes when like the show starts, the lights go down and then, you know, like everyone does their part. You know, the band's playing, like the crowd's going off and it's part of the whole experience, the whole vibe of rock. And that's like, that's why I do what I do. Yeah, Papa Rock! It's great to be home! Cool, man! My dirty cut freaks in the crowd about the rough house! Put your f***ing horns in the air! Put your double V's in the air! <laughs> Never go back home? You can. It's right here. Who know this is about heart and soul? 